Ten Common English Mistakes with Prepositions from EspressoEnglish.net Prepositions can be very challenging, even for advanced English learners. Today, I'll teach you ten of the most common mistakes students make with prepositions and how to fix them. Number one. A lot of students make the mistake of saying depends of when the correct way is depends on. For example, is there a soccer game tomorrow? It depends on the weather. After depend, always use on, never of. Number two. Sometimes students say we discussed about the issue. Or I'm considering about joining a club, but this is not correct. The word about is not necessary after the verb discuss or consider. The correct way to say it is: We discussed the issue, and I'm considering joining a club. Remember, discuss and consider are the more formal words for talk about and think about. When using talk and think, then you do need to use the word about. For example, we talked about the issue. I'm thinking about joining a club. Number three, don't say, "I like to exercise in the night." The correct way is, "I like to exercise at night." We say in the morning, in the afternoon. And in the evening, but night is an exception. We say at night. Number four. Don't say let's meet on next Monday, and don't say I got a promotion in last June. It's not necessary to use on or in in these cases. The correct sentences are, let's meet next Monday, and I got a promotion last June. It's true that normally we use on for days and in for months. Let's meet on Monday. I got a promotion in June. Except when we have last or next. So if we say next Monday or last June, then we don't use on or in. Number five. Don't say he's married with a journalist. The correct sentence is he's married to a journalist. Similarly, don't say my sister is divorced with her husband. The correct way is my sister is divorced from her husband. Number six, don't say the team lacks of organization. Lack as a verb does not use the word of, so the correct way to say it is. The team lacks organization. We use of after lack when lack is used as a noun. For example, I hate the lack of organization, and the project failed thanks to our lack of organization. In both of those sentences, lack is used as a noun, so we include the word of. But when lack is used as a verb, it does not use of. Number seven, don't say I spend a lot of money in clothes. The correct way is I spend a lot of money on clothes. We always spend money on something. Now, when we spend time, then we don't use on or in. We simply use the ing form of the verb. For example. I spend a lot of time reading. Number eight. Sometimes I hear students use the words of, to, or for after angry. For example, are you angry of me? But that's not correct. The correct prepositions are at and with. They're essentially the same. So you can say, "Are you angry at me?" or "Are you angry with me?" A person can be angry about a topic, problem, or issue, and angry at or with a person. Number nine, don't say I'm going in Italy soon. The correct way is 
I'm going to Italy soon. It's true, we use in for being in a city or country. For example, I live in Italy. I'm in Rome right now. But after the verbs go and come, then always use to. For example, when are you coming to Italy? They went to Rome last week. Number 10. Don't say, I graduated at university or of university in 2005. The correct preposition to use is from. I graduated from university in 2005. You could also say the specific name of your university. For example, I graduated from Hamilton College in 2005. If you want to get your English mistakes corrected, join one of my courses that include feedback, which are the Vocabulary Builder course, Phrasal Verbs in Conversation, the Idioms course, Advanced English Grammar, and Everyday English Speaking. Click on the link in the video or in the description for more information.